everybody. Happy Mother's Day. I get to take a trip this weekend. I'm going to be driving in my car to another state and I'm going to need help with directions. Some cars have a built-in GPS system to give directions and some people just use an app on their phone for their directions. Many of these programs allow you to select the voice that you're going to listen to as you hear directions to where you're going. You can choose your language and you might even want to choose a different voice. Maybe you want a man's voice. Turn right. Or maybe you'd rather hear a woman's voice. Turn left on Leadborough Lane. Or maybe you'd like to hear an accent. You've arrived at your destination. You can even have Cookie Monster give you directions to your destination. Turn left. Nom, nom, oh, nom. But oftentimes what happens with these GPS systems is people hear the directions that they're being given, but they still decide not to follow the directions. They might think they don't trust the voice or they might think they just know a better way. But I was thinking on this Mother's Day, what if it was your mom's voice giving you directions to where you were going? Or maybe your dad's or somebody else who knows you really well and loves you. Would you listen then? I might hear my parents say, Sean Lisbeth, would you please turn to the right like I've been telling you? Yes, Sean, listen to your dear father. And I myself might say, Nicholas Scott, come here. Anna Christine, turn around. You might hear my husband say, Nathan Lewis Mazel, come here. When we hear the voice of someone who knows us really well, knows our full name, and we know loves us, we might be more inclined to listen to them. Well, God knows us that well, even better. God knows all about us. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. He said he knows us and we follow him. We are like sheep to our good shepherd, Jesus. All of us who believe that he came to be our savior, that he died on a cross to pay for our sins and rose again to conquer death. All of us are his and we listen to his voice and we follow him. But how do we hear Jesus' voice? God's word, the Bible gives us direction. When we read it or hear it read to us or preached or taught truthfully, it's like God is giving us direction, kind of like a GPS, leading us where he wants us to go. And when we love Jesus, we listen to his voice and we follow him. Jesus wants to lead all people to that final destination of eternal life in heaven with him, where upon arrival, we will all celebrate together with him.